But if you really want to understand the data in a deep way, we want to try some machine learning. So machine learning takes it a whole step further and it gives us some things that we didn't have before. One of the things that we use commonly with machine learning is a data set that has to do with these iris flowers. There are three different species of iris flower that look very similar. Iris setosa, iris versicolor, iris virginica. If you're a newbie on flowers and you walk past any of these three, you could probably not know the difference. But each of the three species does look a little bit different, but there's a mathematical way to tell them apart with a pretty high degree of certainty. And that is if you measure the height or the length and width of a petal, and you measure the length and width of the sepal, and you plug those into a machine learning algorithm, it can actually tell you with a high degree of certainty which is which. It makes sense of that data. And the way machine learning works is kind of like this. When you're training a dog, what you do is you show it what to do. And every time the dog does something like what you want, you give it a treat, right? And pretty soon the dog learns that, oh, if I sit in this weird kind of way that's completely unnatural for a dog, or if I roll over or play dead or whatever, run through this obstacle course, you're going to give me a treat. Machine learning is very similar to that. It basically says, this is an iris setosa. Here's a treat. This is an iris setosa. Here's a treat. Pay attention to the, the petal and sepal measurements. Here's a treat. Here's a treat. Here's a treat. We do that enough times, and we show it the, uh, the three kinds of flowers, and we say, this is this kind, this is this kind, this is this kind, based on the measurements. If we say that enough, then we can say, I have a flower that, that the petal measurements are this, and the sepal measurements are this. What kind of flower do you suppose that is? And the computer can say, well, I think it's an iris virginica based on, based on those things. What's, what are the odds that this is a certain kind of flower, essentially? So when we are actually doing machine learning, the code is a little bit more advanced. I'm going to walk you through it. And then I've also posted this exact code to our canvas shell so you can play around with it and and look at some things but basically this code involves using this iris data now if you've studied data science or if you go on to study data science you will become an expert on irises because this data is used across the globe to train people in data science. Why? Because it's really good data and it's easy to understand and it's, it's, it, it works very well for this. So look at all this stuff we're importing. Pandas, Mathplot Library, Seaborn. These are visualization tools. We're telling it to use a certain, a certain type of uh, <coughs> calculation here. We're importing something called PyPlot from, uh, from MathPlot Library. These sklearn are, um, are machine learning libraries. So we're importing a, the practice data set, which is the iris data set. We are importing different models, different metrics, and a logistic regression, <coughs> which is a, a specific algorithm for machine learning. Don't worry too much about all that stuff. Just know what it is, kind of. That's, that's our target for today. So we're loading uh, iris as a data set. So this just grabs that data. It's not even a data frame yet. And we're taking that data and we're take, assigning specific aspects of it, data and target to X and Y. 
And here we go. We're creating a pandas data frame using the iris data. And we're saying, let's name, let's set the column titles. And we're setting a column called species. And we're using the target names, which are the, the, three, uh, the three types of flower. So Satosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. And so far, let's really quickly, I'm going to hide some of these things so we don't show all of that at once. And let's run that. And here is a, a sample of the data set or the data frame. So we got sepal length, sepal width. We've got in here petal width and petal, uh, petal length and petal width. And then we have a column called species. You can see Satosa. All of these are in there. Uh, but all it's showing is five rows and five columns because this is a summary of that data. So we have imported that now. So the, the head of that table or that data frame has just given us a few rows. If we use, if we use the descriptive statistics, that might be our next step to understanding the data. So I'm going to run some descriptive st statistics here. There's 150 pieces of data here. There's the mean, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Those are the, the things that you can compute. Now, since this is a blend of the three different species of flowers, these things don't necessarily mean a lot to me by themselves but it kind of gives me an idea of the data, the shape of the data. 